This is hopefully, this is all downhill so the water didn't rest. Well, some of it's downhill, didn't rest on it too much. Ooh, man, that rock, I felt it. So hopefully these other parts of the trails I gotta go down ain't gonna be too muddy. I wanna get out here today while the ground's still soft. I can, oh, I got some rocks. You don't want to hit any of these too big of rocks head on with these <laughs> because these wheels just, you'll hit the rim. They won't soften the impact enough and the rock will put a bigger force on the rim. It's unless the rock's like, if the rock's like three or four, three inches or bigger, you don't really want to hit it head on unless it's a flat one. <laughs> in the trail. This trail's almost getting overgrown, man. That first part wasn't bad, but this part, can't even see it. This trail right here is on Google Maps, but... Uh. Oh, where did I hit there? Uh, I hit some stick that flipped up. It's a little muddy right here, but not... Since I got all this weight, my back tire is really digging in this mud. Okay, the river didn't flood out here. That's good. That's why the animals are... That's pretty beautiful. All the yellow flowers. Actually, all the flowers have been blooming. All the wild flowers. But the elk like this area because that little river I like going in that valley a lot right there. Especially at night. a little muddy but not too bad if it would have rained any longer yesterday at night this trail could have been probably too muddy if it wouldn't have been sunny today too Ooh, just lying around a little bit in the back I feel that back tire fish tail and so I'm just gonna slow down I do not want to crash with this weight on here. When you got this much weight, if you're starting to crash, it's hard to save it. Ooh. These pedals are almost hitting the side of these little hills and on the side of this trail. I am going uphill, so I gotta pop it back up. The higher pedal says. Ooh. 
Let's see, I think I brought. Ooh. Like I could put my guns on now. I didn't put them on back there. You never know. Or get off the trail. Though I hate when people are stopped on the trail and you're flying down it. And somebody stopped in the trail, man. This backpack's heavy as I got two guns in here. So again, people, get used to wearing your guns. I'm gonna get rid of this can of mace because last time I had a can of mace with two guns on, it was hard to to wear, but that can of mace comes in handy though for bears. This holster's rougher to take on and off. And get holsters for all your guns too, so when you go shooting you can uh, wear three or four guns on you and do more sh shooting at once and having to go back and grab a gun, put a gun down. This is my 22 6 inch revolver. Hello. I got my favorite gun, my nine millimeter Kirsten. Oh. Okay, so I'm strapped even like I was. That guy kind of like waited at me, that's why I said hello, because I'm sitting here putting my guns on. He's like a little spooked. Okay, people. I read this story about this uh, guy. There's this short, there's this book about short stories about people in like the 1800s, and maybe early 1900s, but I think it was made in the 1800s. I think there's one guy's name was, whoa. I think his name was Wild Bill, or his nickname. But this guy, they said he was a crack shot with both hands with his guns and he used to wear his guns crisscross, his six shooters, and he used to shoot every morning, they said. And he killed like, I don't know, 100 people or something. But man, being a Asan shot with both hands, on a quick draw too, and that's pretty good. Make sure you get, you touch, touch your holders out, your holsters out too. Get some to wear on the inside of your pants for concealment, or just have concealment and get some to wear them on the outside of your pants. And check out your holsters. Practice drawing, because some holsters, man, a gun stuck in and it's hard to get the gun out. I had some holsters too where I try to take the gun out and the whole holster comes off my belt. The clip comes off. Okay, so yeah, this these roads ain't too bad. So there's a turn coming up here somewhere. Go on this side, it's a little rocky right there. 
You can see the water is really running down these trails. These trails, a lot of people get, uh, a lot of people bike them and walk them and run them so they don't get overgrown too much. Ruts in that trail there. Okay, so here's the part. That goes into the forest. Man, I sprained my big toe a little bit today. Here it's a little muddy. Ooh, I don't want to get a bunch of mud on my tires. Uh, so today I got enough time to be out here shooting a lot. Last time I, last couple times I came out here, I didn't have enough time, and I was only gonna shoot a little bit, but then it started getting real fun. And the way I was putting my targets up and stuff. And the second time I came out, I just didn't have enough time. So I'm coming out here a lot earlier. Oh, see like these roots right here? You don't want to ram those too hard. 